Hello and welcome. This is going to be episode five. So, uh, this one, this video, I just want to go and sit there and like show you like what I like gone when I've gone to uh, cons and everything like that, and uh, like the autographs that that I receive. I don't do too many of them, so um, when I do. Uh, it's, it's very rare that, that I do sometimes, so, um, I had to go, go check out, uh, can't, I can't, no, no, Sony, from, um, You're Next, which is kind of, she was, she was really, really cool and says, why the fuck not? So you're, you're next. And I, I wasn't wearing my Myers or anything like that, so uh, that was that was kind of kind of things where I was like really shy to go up to because I was just plain normal, and I didn't know like how to approach her, and nobody nobody was around her table, so I thought it was like really cool. Um, this next one is you might it might. Recognize from the craft uh, and the water boy and several. Let me put that in there. That was my uh, Kylo Myers uh, cosplay, which she liked. She thought it was like really, you know, inspiring per se because she says why go and like do anything or uh with what people can do do what you like to do so i thought that was kind of cool um i decided to take a picture with cobra kai from the karate kid also in the, my uh Ky kylo myers mask so they they were pretty cool both of them was was pretty funny. They were like all cracking jokes with each other and telling me I should go in a Cobra Kai and you know face Mr. Miyagi back in the day and all that. I thought it was I thought that was pretty pretty funny. Um, here's uh, Kristen Kalib who played Linda. Uh, I talked about her. Uh, really really cool from uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. So you know what what people say is say you know. Girls like to get choked for some reason, so that's totally it says totally rock on. So I thought that was that was kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> this one here is from Trick or Treat. That's just Tony Moran who played the Michael Myers. Um, when he gets shot, and then when his mask gets uh, taken off. Uh, that is Tony Moran uh, doing that. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. I thought this picture was was awesome um, out of all of them. And I got the last one. I was like really surprised that a lot of people didn't go and uh, choose this one. Um, but this is Nick Castle. That's uh, when he's uh, chasing um, Lori into the to that Wallace house or excuse me, I'm sorry uh, the Doyle house so I thought that was kind of kind of cool that 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 was it all all it says is just Nick Castle on it nothing nothing else on there other than you know my name and so um, some some like artwork I guess I'll, I'll show you that like the, the artwork that I picked up um, I, I like artists. I think they're really, really cool. Uh, that's the Kylo Ren that I bought, uh, which was really, really nice. And then the there's nothing on that other one. No surprise. So I don't. Oh well. So <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that. Pretty much is is like the the first set. So I mean, I, I could have I could go and get like a lot, lot more autographs. But to me, I think autographs, they're, they're, they're great. 
a lot of people that go to cons, they go there and um, get posters signed. I think that's also kind of cool that people go and get their posters signed, but it's that's just too much for me to, to carry around. Plus, I have way too much more fun cosplaying other than waiting in line and, and getting, uh, you know, the, the autograph signed by, you know, by somebody, which, which, which is fine. I mean, everybody, everybody has, has their own, their own standpoint and stuff like that. So I thought that's, that works. I'm just not one of them who owns like 1500, uh, posters and stuff like that just to get, um, just to get them signed. So, um, here's a, I went to a kids con. That's actually what it was called. Kids con. Um, and saw that, uh, Bex was going to be there. She was in the TV show, uh, scream TV show. So I said, I got to get a picture. She was at Texas Frightmare a year before that, uh, with the one of her co-stars and stuff, but couldn't, um, couldn't get to that one uh so she showed up there and uh she charged thirty dollars which which was decent i thought it was like kind of cool um here's sick head uh poncho uh morales morales i think um one of my favorite characters out of rob zombies 31 uh got that at center monster palooza and in which was funny because due to the fact that the film was brought out to weeks before the son of monster palooza so we were the, our group the the people that showed up on that friday was the first ones to meet him uh very nice guy you ever see him or or you know see that he's going to be at a con definitely go up and say hi to him um thought that that was i thought he was like really really cool really really nice guy um here's uh david yuri uh he played one of the the uh, psycho uh, clowns, chainsaws, uh, in the Rob Zombie 31, uh, film. Really also, uh, another, another really, uh, nice guy that, that showed, that was there. And, um, thought it was, thought it was kind of cool. I thought he, they were cool. I, they, they were really talkative. They didn't want to, you know, like, bail you out and say, okay, you know, how can I, how can I like Lee? You know why? Why you gotta leave? Oh, and the one that for uh, Huncho that he signed it says "trick or treat, motherfucker," and then um, the the one for uh, David Yuri says "oh, hell dies," so that's what it says. Um, if you ever go to a con, they'll always give you like little souvenirs. Here's the Son of Monster Palooza. Uh, this was back in 2015, actually. So it's uh, quite quite old uh, for 2015. Uh, and then a lot of them, they'll, they'll go ahead and give you the, the guest list on uh, who's going to be there and what day and everything. So a lot of people i never, like, never seen at a con before. Uh, some, some of them I have. Uh, again, so it's really cool that, that they actually go and show up. And then you can go and uh, uh, reminisce as far as like, oh my gosh, this person was there? I didn't recognize that they were there. So it's, you know, really, really cool, that one. And then here's uh, 2016's um, Monster, Monster Palooza. That was there, 2016. I have more there somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Um, here's my photo shoot I was talking about earlier in one of the other videos. The shoot of the Cast 31. For uh, Rob Zombie's movie. I thought that was pretty pretty cool. Like when I like showed up, you know, they're like, holy shit, it's Michael Myers. Oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, it's Michael Myers, you know, and stuff like that. So it's kind of like, yep. And then, you know, of course, Malcolm McDowell, who played Loomis in the movies, sat there and, who in the fuck, who invited you over here? You know, and he's just like all going off. He was drunk and everything. So it was like kind of, 
kind of funny on that one. And then uh, another one, it was like really cool. Can't really like say, but uh, Pollyanna McIntosh, who plays Jadis in the uh, Walking Dead, I thought that was like a really really good scene of like Rick and Carl. And so, and then you might recognize like like this guy here because he's the one who gets eaten by the lion like right at the next scene. You know, <laughs> the tiger. I thought that was like pretty pretty funny. Um, here's another, I thought that was kind of cool because the guy was actually giving this out when we were showing up. This was in the Burbank, uh, 2016 Mon Son of Monster Palooza, like I said, that there's two. Uh, but it was kind of cool because they had a film that it was called Death House. Uh, which Death House, you know, it uh, started a lot of, like, you know, well-known horror actors and actresses that, that was in it. Uh, a few of them, you know, like Kane Hodder, Vern, or, uh, Vern Wells, Dee Wallace, Tony Todd, uh, Felicity Rose, uh, Bill Mosley, um, so on and so forth, Sid Haig, so on and so forth. So it was, like, kind of cool that they had uh, that and then, of course, if you go to Terror Threats, they're selling this shirt now. So, I thought that was kind of cool. And here is what you get at Texas Frightmare. This was last year. You get a big, nice, huge, giant uh, newspaper. And then, like I said, it tells you exactly... I don't know where it would be in here. I haven't looked in here in a while. Uh, where... Uh, the actual, oh, there it is, right here. The guess them where they're going to be. So that's always a must on who's going to be where. But some of them weren't there because they were still filming. Like, uh, the kids of, um, Stranger Things, they pulled out because of reproduction. And then also, um, Jesus, uh, couldn't be there and Dwight couldn't be there. So, but that is that, um, I like talking about cons. I like to think, I should have started this out, but oh well. Uh, I like to think to people, my number, my first video actually hit over a hundred and I believe five views, which totally blows me away. I didn't think it would even get that close. I think it would be like at 21 or 16 or something like that, but 105 views. I think that's great. Other ones, I mean, they're they're there, but the the first video was awesome. I I very much appreciate for everybody watching it, taking their time out. I knew that one was long. I try to keep it within the fifteen minute time period or shorter, so it doesn't waste everybody's time just to go and sit there and watch me talk about absolutely nothing other than horror cons or you know uh, depression and, and anxiety. Uh, if there's any questions, any comments that you want to go ahead and do, I answer them. Um, feel free to. Um, if you want to, you don't have to. Like I said, you can hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and then you'll know when the videos are coming out. And then also that I want to, pre like I said, I very much appreciate everybody who supports me in doing this. Um, it's overwhelming a little bit, which I never thought anybody, you know, so many people like off of social media would give me like the sort of strength to voice, put a voice out there as far as the anxiety and, and the social and the depression and the social anxiety of going to cons, being a cosplayer, uh, enjoying being the cosplayer and everything. So I very much appreciate for what everybody has done. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.